All right, guys. So I'm here with Zach. We're about to go on the, I don't know, what's it, UFS? Uh, Universal Flight Track. Oh, we're going to go fly a plane. So <laughs> this will be my first time. Let's do it. Let's get it. So yeah, so if that doesn't work, the aircraft can't turn, right? Oh uh, yeah, we'll be fast. <laughs> yeah. A couple years ago, basically the wing fell off on a guy, and so we always wiggle the wing, make sure the wing's partly good. Wow. So we're testing the fuel. Yeah. Now it's clear, so that's good. Make sure so that's where we're getting our ventilation from. Yeah. It's yeah. not much, but it's. It It'll do. And then we check the cowling, make sure there's like all the rivets are good. Yeah. Uh, coming on, check this tire. I'm um, also checking the strut, making sure the strut's good. Yep. And that's all good. We check the prop for any like excessive mix. That's all good. And then we check inside of here, looking through for any like. Make sure there are no birds in there. Yeah, make sure there's no birds in there. <laughs> make sure there's no birds in there. Yeah. Make sure all your lights work. Yep, I already got that. So you have them on both sides then? The fuel sumps? Yeah, those fuel sumps? Yeah, we have, there's one on each side and then there's this one in the front. So these come directly from the tank. Okay. Uh, which is the tanks in the wing, the fuel tank. Yep. And then that one actually comes from the strainer. And then, yeah, we come around, we check this. Is, this is what gives us our airspeed. That's called the pedo mast. So this calibrates, calculates ram air when we're moving through the air. Yeah. And then this uh, is a static port, is what it's called. So that calculates uh, like the static air, the air that's not moving. Okay. So what it does is it calculates the difference between the ram air and the static air. And that's what gives us our air speed in the aircraft. Very nice. So, yeah. Technology, you gotta love it. We're checking, making sure we have all of our uh, antennas. So, antenna, antenna, antenna. Good view, our localizer glide slope antenna. Uh, Which ones is it like a radar and then a communications antenna? Yeah, so you're gonna have UR localizer glide slope. Yep. This is the ELT, so if we get in a wreck or something like that, yeah, um, that's what we would we would engage the ELT and they'd be able to find us. Okay. Um, and then this is a little bit different on the antennas that I usually fly. So uh, this is going to be up there. We have those two little ones. That's gonna be a GPS, uh, and this is gonna probably be COM one and then COM two. And then we have a uh, marker beacon antenna and then a transponder antenna, which is going to be for them to see us on radar, which is all the way up front. Cool, cool. Stabilator, make sure that's good. Free aimer, the rudder, good. And then a trim tab. This is this trim tab, is there's like a wheel in there, so when we're flying along, okay. we can trim out the aircraft, is what it's called. And that way we can, it's we don't have to put as much control inputs on the aircraft. Nice. Then checking this side of the and that's basically it. Cool. How you doing? Ah, good. Fuel's on awesome. the way. Sweet. Uh. Uh, when we do get in the air and we switch controls, it's going to be a three-step process. It's pretty simple. So mm -hmm. I'll say you have controls, you'll say I have controls, and then I'll say you have controls. And okay. then I'll make sure to verify that you have controls and then they're yours. And then once you hand them back to me, I'll say I have controls. You'll say you have controls. Verify that I have them. Okay. And then I'll say I have controls. Cool. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Four, two, three, four. There's no push buttons. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> ones that, There's other ones that have push buttons? Yeah, the ones that we fly are. Oh, that's funny. Right, there. Do I need to close this door? There you go. Clear, bro.
Well, that's not heavy, is it? All right, guys, so we just got back from a successful flight with Zach. How old are you, Zach? Uh, 20, just turned 20. <laughs> Pretty young, and this guy, he flew great, man. I wasn't, I wasn't too nervous. It was a fun flight. It was definitely a fun flight. Uh, I had a blast, so hopefully we can do it again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, all right, guys, hell yeah. See ya. Yeah.